This is a podcast from Dublin's best music mix, Dublin's 98. Check out Dublin's98.ie. And now the Church of Scientology is the source of huge curiosity for most of us, myself certainly, not least because of the involvement of Tom Cruise and the odd behaviour. Uh, his dedication to Scientology seems to have provoked a very private religion, though, uh, one which places the utmost importance on secrecy amongst its followers, which makes our next guest our next guest, rather, all the more interesting is John Dignan, author of The Complex, a book about his 22 years with an eventual escape from the Church of Scientology. John, it's a pleasure to have you with us. How are you? My pleasure. I am uh, I am now very well. Thank you very much. Uh, Good. Now you say. Now, but now there was I, a time you when, see, when you my, weren't. My freedom and liberty is absolutely fantastic. Believe you me, it's, it, it, it was a long journey to get to where I am now, but it is... Um, if you have been in something like that, you yeah. are you never have freedom. You're always being watched. Well, it, it, it sounded incredibly insular and scary in, in many ways. Right, but you, you got into this in in, uh, in a way which was not unfamiliar to me because I was walking down Talbot Street about five or six, maybe a little bit longer ago, uh, five or six years ago, and a fellow came up to me and asked me to do a personality test. And I was actually interested, but I didn't actually have sure. the time. And it turns out this was Church, uh, Church of Scientology pr- prompted. And this is how you got into this, John. Absolutely, yeah. The, 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 it's the main recruitment tool of Scientology is a personality test across the world, whether in mm. Taiwan or whether you're in Los Angeles or New York or Dublin. It's a personality test. That's the hook. And of course it is because you're interested in yourself. Everybody's interested in themselves. Of course. If you wake up with a hangover, you're curious about yourself, you know? John, you you reckon that it was your 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 childhood and and things that happened to you in your in your early childhood that that made you vulnerable and that Scientologists that that's what they that's what they're looking for to to, hook, to hook Absolutely. somebody in. Look, hundred percent. I mean, I know for a fact because later on I became uh, I was administering these tests and I was designing these tests later on, and the te- and the instructions we have on those tests is that if the person scores high, you reject them straight away. You reject wow. them out of hand. You do not want. A high-scoring person, because you can't do anything with so them. So if they're normal, well-adjusted, you don't want them. You don't want them, yeah, because okay. be, be, yeah, they, because their critical th- abilities. The, the most important thing you got is your ability to think critically, to to be able to, if if you like, to be able to filter out bullshit from reality, yeah. from truth, you know. Yeah. And that's, but someone in my situation, uh, I mean, I lost my parents when I was ten years old, and there was ten of there was six of us kids left orphaned if you like mm-hmm. just sort of at the complete whims of the world it's a little bit troublesome for a child and it sets them up for a lot of difficulties it really does and that absolutely wide open it left me very very wide open and very I'm vulnerable always looking you see always searching for that parental home somewhere that, to belong that, yeah it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a metaphysical thing but it's a belongingness it's a safety it's a security oh, uh, and it's not defined it's just you know intuitively what it's supposed to mm. feel like, and so these Scientology, I mean, God Almighty, they definitely offered this cotton woolly ness, you know, which is, by the way, which is why Tom Cruise loves it so much. Because, really? Well, if you look at it, look, even even at his state, right? You're only as good as the reputation of your last film. Yeah. You do a bad film, or you do a stupid series of interviews like he did, right? His career is wrecked. That's typical. So you're always insecure. It's the most in, in the movie. That's why Kirstie Alley's involved in Scientology. That's why Cruises. That's why Nancy Cartwright. That's why and it, make, it, it, make, it makes so much sense, John. Sure. They, they definitely played in your insecurities as Absolutely. well because when they actually saw the report and saw that perhaps you did have, you know, some problems as a child, which then developed and manifested in, in, into later on uh, yeah. when you were a child, they told you you were on the route to suicide and that you needed to be a Scientologist immediately. It was my only hope. It's my only hope, literally. And there's a very interesting. I mean, I mean, I put in the book, in the last chapter of the book, I'm talking about other experiences of other people. I go outside of my own experiences beyond it. And there was a, a, a daughter of a Norwegian politician, very recently. This was last summertime, who, after doing a personality analysis, exactly like you do right down there on Abbey Street in Dublin, exactly the same way. She was given the test. She was given what's called the evaluation, which is the reading of the test, if you like. Yeah. And it's designed to tell you that you are a mess. And she went home, up to her flat, and she jumped out the window. And that's absolutely, and it makes, and when I read that, I said, look, this is absolutely makes sense to me because yeah. you're supposed to cave the person in. That's the instructions we get. How how do they get you in, John? So okay, so you, you do this test, they give sure. you this ev- evaluation. Yeah. 
physically, where do you go? Where do you go to stay? Do you do you live with them? Because oh, I, I don't know how the whole thing sure, works. Sure, sure. Well, well, look, first of all, it's very straightforward. It's like, it's, it's like anything like down in Dublin, you'll go there, you'll do a test, you'll mm. be invited up there, you'll say, look, buy the book and do a little course. So you do a little course on their little grotty premises there on in Abbey Street, right? Mm. Or in my case, it was in Stuttgart in Germany. Right. Much nicer premises, you know, but the same idea. And you're at that point, you're you're starting out, I was working, you know, I was doing a bit of this, you know, working working in Germany, uh, and I'd pop in there in the evenings and do a course. But very rapidly, they had me doing more courses, more reading. They had me doing, and then they had me join staff in a very, very short period of time, you see, within a matter of weeks. So within a matter of weeks, I'd left my job, I'd left my, literally, not talked to my friend, I'd left my girlfriend. And within a matter of weeks, that's all I was doing. I was just doing Scientology. And then I got further recruited into the inner core of Scientology, which is a paramilitary organization that you never see. The public see, person does. I thought see. this was absolutely absolutely fascinating yeah. as well. A paramilitary a organization paramilitary within, within a church, which doesn't really seem to make any sense. And as well, I was, I was doing a bit of reading about this earlier on, correct sure. me if I'm wrong, but the main aim of the Church of Scientology is kind of to infiltrate governments, to infiltrate countries, and, and to get into decision-making positions. But wh why, did, why did you need, you know, a military presence what did you plan to take these the, take governments over by force or what was the well they, they, if you have a military organization that's dedicated uh, if, you, if you can imagine a military thing a military uh, person a military personality is a very focused personality right so you're fighting right. for king and country or you know the United States of America fighting all these bad evil Muslims in Iraq you know to save the Christian America you know this kind of silly thing it's a very narrow minded focus and it's a very uncritical focus the soldiers trained in a very narrow way. Yeah. Likewise, Scientology trains their people to clear the planet. Now, clear the planet means literally everybody in the planet Earth has to be a Scientologist. Or if they're not a Scientologist, I'll give you an example. Uh, there's a Hubbard. You, you, you can find it on the internet. You guys go ahead and do a search on it, right? The homosexual is rejected by Scientology mm. okay the disabled person is rejected by Scientology and not just rejected they are um, they are to be disposed of without uh, really like it's, it's they're serious. supposed to be disposed of if without you like, compassion without compassion yeah. without sorrow without